Hey, it's Frank Balls here, and we're gonna do a very cool DIY series. I love to build stuff, and I love to build stuff, and I love food trucks. So I'm gonna do both together. I'm gonna build a food truck in a trailer form. So we're gonna call it a food trailer. That's what it's gonna be called. And it's a DIY series of how to build your own food trailer right in your driveway. That sounds pretty cool because I believe if we all have a little bit of DIY knowledge, we can literally build anything we want. A little bit of knowledge, the right tools, I believe that we can do it and we're gonna do it together. Um, and I've done it before, Rolling Burritos Food Truck is a trailer that I currently have right now. We serve breakfast burritos and I built it from scratch. This is what this is, it's an empty seven by 16 trailer. And I'm gonna cover the outside because just as important as what goes inside is what's gonna be on the outside. And there's a couple things that I saw in this food in the in the food trailer that I was looking for a new one. When I was looking for a new one, because I got like the itch to build another one, because I get like I love projects and I love to do cool things on the weekends and then like when I'm not running my food truck, I was like, why not build another one, do a video series, and then sell it on the back end. So at the end, this is gonna get sold to who? I don't know to the highest bidder. I'll tell you that for sure. <laughs> so, so I'm gonna give you a few uh, DIY tips. Of the, on the outside of the trailer some important key features to really look at um, that when you look at all these brands they're all made a little bit different it's like a car right a Toyota is different than a Chevy then it's at the end of the day they have four wheels but they're all made differently same thing with the trailers uh, I did not know this stuff until I got my first one that's when you learn a lot about the food uh, about the trailer business um, but with that I like this brand. This is brand that I like because it's what's in mind. And I really like the build of them. I like the quality. I like how they ride. I like how they pull, turn, and everything like that. And the brand is called Cargo Mate. Now, there's no promo in there or anything like that. It's just the one that I preferred and I like how they're built. Uh, a lot of different, like I said, here's the key features. Number one, and this one's really, really important, and something that I didn't even notice until I started looking for this one, which I found on the marketplace. That's how I found my other one. Um, is this part right here it measures 29 inches just so you know it measures 29 inches from this seam to this piece of metal why is that important when we start getting to the inside you're gonna see how much stuff we're gonna stuff right in the front because people ask me why how do you fit so much in a 7 by 16 foot trailer which is 112 square feet I like the 7 feet width because you don't have to use a tow mirrors when you get into the bigger wider trailers then you have to get a wider mirror on your truck um, and it's harder to turn for me that's that's been my experience uh, maybe for your more skilled trailer drivers it's like easy but for me um, the 7 by 16 was a perfect fit 16 feet long was what exactly what I needed for my kitchen it's a kitchen on wheels and this part I'm gonna say it one more time because it is really important because a lot of the trailer manufacturers they put this door more up front and I didn't find that out until I was buying a new one that I saw on the thing. I'm like, hey, that, that door looks like it's more this way. And it was, it was 16 inches. Then I measured mine. I'm like, you know what? I cannot, this is a non-negotiable. I need these 29 inches of space right here. So very important, make sure you do that. I'm gonna show you guys when we get inside, not in this video, but when we start doing the inside, why that gap is so important. The other one is in the front. You get a lot of these trailers that have that V. And you'll see a ton of those trailers. They have a big V in the front. And I don't, me, I didn't choose that type of model because this this part of the trailer is very important to what we're gonna put up here. You guys are gonna see how what we're gonna put up here. I'm gonna put what we have in the food truck, which is the propane tanks and the generator. So having the flat front, you guys will see, it's gonna be super, super important. It's gonna make it easier. And uh, I really like the look of the flat front. So on the outside, those are key features. Make sure you look for those two key features that it has a flat front and that it has this gap right here that it's about 29 inches so you can fit as much of the stuff that we're gonna show in the future. So with that, let's start this DIY. These video uploads are gonna be like sporadic as I'm moving through this trailer because now I know what to order, how I know what to find, I know what kind of windows to use. So it's gonna be fun, man. It's, I'm so excited about this, this video series because like I said, I love building stuff and I love food trucks. And I believe that if we have a little bit of DIY knowledge, we can build anything we want. And I believe you guys can do the same thing too. So Frank Baltier's Rolling Burritos Food Truck. Let's start ordering everything.